This golden spice may protect your lungs from inflammation. Sounds almost too simple, right? But turmeric, especially its active compound, curcumin, has been used for centuries in traditional medicine. And now modern science is beginning to uncover just how powerful it may be for your lung health. You've probably seen turmeric everywhere lately, sprinkled into smoothies, brewed into teas, and served as golden milk. But beyond the health hype, there's growing research suggesting that curcumin could help fight lung inflammation, boost immune defenses, and even offer protection against chronic respiratory diseases like asthma, COPD, and pulmonary fibrosis. In today's video, we're breaking down what curcumin actually is, how it works in the body, and what the current studies say about its role in supporting your lungs. We'll also talk about how to get it into your diet the right way and what to watch out for if you're considering supplements. Whether you're dealing with chronic lung issues or just looking for natural ways to support your respiratory system, this is one spice worth paying attention to. Let's take a closer look at the science behind turmeric in your lungs. Let's start with the basics. Curcumin is the active compound found in turmeric the bright yellow-orange spice commonly used in Indian and Southeast Asian cooking. While turmeric is the root you buy in powdered form or fresh at the grocery store, it's curcumin that gives it its most powerful health benefits, especially when it comes to inflammation. Curcumin is what scientists call a polyphenol, a plant-based compound known for its antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. It helps combat oxidative stress, regulate inflammatory pathways in the body, and may even assist in the healing of damaged tissues. It's been studied for everything from joint pain to digestive issues, but what's especially interesting is how curcumin interacts with the lungs. Inflammation is at the root of many lung conditions, whether it's the daily irritation from pollution or smoke, or more serious diseases like asthma, bronchitis, COPD, and even pulmonary fibrosis. That's where curcumin stands out. It's been shown in lab and animal studies to reduce inflammatory markers, improve lung tissue structure, and protect against lung damage caused by toxins or allergens. In short, curcumin acts like a natural anti-inflammatory agent that targets the same pathways many prescription drugs aim for, but without the side effects. That's why there's so much interest in it from both the medical community and people who prefer natural remedies. And the best part, it's widely available, affordable, and easy to add to your daily routine. The real question is, can curcumin actually make a difference when it comes to lung health? According to emerging research, the answer looks promising. One of the most cited reviews on this topic was published in Advances in Experimental Medicine and Biology. It pulled together dozens of studies exploring curcumin's effects on lung diseases in both animal models and lab settings, and the findings were compelling. In almost every case, Curcumin showed the ability to reduce inflammation, protect lung cells from oxidative damage, and even reverse some of the structural changes seen in chronic respiratory diseases. In models of asthma, for example, curcumin helped lower levels of inflammatory cytokines, which are the chemical messengers that tell your body to trigger inflammation. This led to reduced airway swelling and better airflow, something every asthma sufferer can appreciate. In studies on chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, curcumin was shown to suppress the oxidative stress and inflammatory response caused by cigarette smoke exposure. It also appeared to help restore antioxidant levels in the lungs, something that's often depleted in people with COPD. And then there's pulmonary fibrosis, a progressive lung disease that causes scarring in the lung tissue. In animal models, curcumin helps slow the progression of fibrosis by interrupting the pathways that lead to excessive tissue buildup and inflammation. While human trials are still limited, these results point to a potential new avenue for natural lung support. Some smaller human studies are starting to emerge as well. For instance, people with mild asthma who took curcumin supplements showed improvements in airflow and symptom control, although larger, long-term trials are still needed to confirm these results. Still, the takeaway is clear. Curcumin has real potential as a natural tool for managing and possibly preventing lung inflammation. It may not replace prescription medications, but it could work alongside them to reduce flare-ups, ease breathing, and protect lung function, especially if used consistently over time. Let's break it down. How does curcumin actually work once it's in your body, especially in your lungs? It all comes down to inflammation and oxidative stress, the two biggest threats to healthy lung function. 
When your lungs are exposed to irritants like pollution, allergens, cigarette smoke, or even respiratory infections, your body responds by triggering an inflammatory response. In the short term, this is helpful. It's your immune system doing its job. But when inflammation becomes chronic, it leads to damaged tissues, airway narrowing, and eventually diseases like asthma, COPD, or fibrosis. Curcumin helps by modulating multiple pathways involved in this inflammation. It blocks the production of pro-inflammatory molecules like TNF-alpha, IL-6, and NFKB, all of which are known to contribute to lung damage. At the same time, curcumin boosts the body's own natural antioxidant systems, like glutathione, which helps repair and protect cells from oxidative injury. In simpler terms, you can think of curcumin as a fire extinguisher for your lungs, putting out the inflammatory flames and clearing away the smoke before it does lasting damage. Some researchers also believe curcumin might help regenerate healthy lung tissue by supporting collagen balance and reducing the fibrotic scarring that makes breathing more difficult in chronic conditions. The effects aren't instant, and they depend on consistent intake, but over time, curcumin may create a healthier lung environment that's better equipped to handle life's daily irritants. Now that we know what curcumin can do for your lungs, let's talk about how to actually get it into your daily routine and how to do it effectively. First, the most common way people consume curcumin is through turmeric powder. You can add it to smoothies, stir it into soups, toss it into roasted veggies, or make a warm turmeric tea or golden milk with almond milk, cinnamon, and a touch of honey. It's versatile, affordable, and easy to find. But here's the catch. Curcumin by itself isn't easily absorbed by the body. In fact, without help, your system absorbs very little of it. The good news, there's a simple fix. Just add a pinch of black pepper. Black pepper contains piperine, a compound that can boost curcumin absorption by up to 2,000%. A little healthy fat like coconut oil or avocado can also help with absorption. If you're looking for more potency or convenience, curcumin supplements are widely available. Look for ones labeled curcumin with piperine or bioavailable curcumin and make sure it's a trusted brand. The typical dose ranges from 500 to 1,000 milligrams per day, though it's best to start small and work up gradually. While curcumin is generally safe, talk to your doctor if you're on blood thinners or have gallbladder issues, as it may interact with certain medications. Whether you choose food, supplements, or both, the key is consistency. Curcumin is most effective when used as a daily habit rather than a one-time boost. So, can turmeric, and more specifically curcumin, really help protect your lungs? Based on everything we've explored, the answer is yes. From its powerful anti-inflammatory effects to its ability to reduce oxidative stress and support the health of lung tissue, curcumin is one of the most promising natural tools for managing and even preventing lung-related issues. Whether you're navigating chronic conditions like asthma or COPD, recovering from a respiratory illness, or simply trying to protect your lungs from everyday irritants like pollution or allergens, curcumin offers real, research-backed benefits it doesn't work overnight, and it won't replace necessary medications, but it can absolutely complement your routine and provide long-term support for healthier, stronger lungs. The best part? It's easy to add to your life. You can sip it in tea, stir it into your meals, or take it as a high-quality supplement. Just remember to pair it with black pepper to boost absorption, and aim to make it a daily habit if you really want to feel the difference. If you've been searching for a natural way to breathe easier, reduce inflammation, and take better care of your respiratory system, curcumin might just be the golden solution you've been missing. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more lung health insights, and share it with someone who could benefit from better lung support. And let us know in the comments, have you tried turmeric or curcumin for inflammation? I can't wait to hear about your experiences with this compound. Have a nice day, and thanks again for watching.